Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Free CC3 with another expedition match. This time we have Clone and Lowry on Red Comet. So Clone going in the southwest for well, actually south cent well, west center. Shieldbot Factory. Lowry on the other hand going for Hovercraft, and this is actually going to be a test game because there have been some changes to Hovercraft. Daggers are a bit lower range. They have 205 instead of 220 range, and maces are where are the maces? Maces are now. Well, it's not easy to see here because it doesn't show most of the stuff. Their range has been reduced, but mostly their acceleration and speed has... Well, their speed has been reduced, but their acceleration and deceleration has been reduced. There's another small change to... Let's see, it was... Come on. Oh, yeah, the acceleration is lower, their break rate is lower, and they turn slower, and the range has been slightly reduced. So basically it's just they are a bit more unwieldy. They take a bit longer to get... They're a bit heavier, essentially. We'll see how that works out. Lowry, of course, is wonderfully a fan of the Hovercraft Factory. While Clone, on the other hand, going for Shield Bots, which is an interesting choice as a counter, since Light Vehicles is the one that normally had the issues with Hovercraft. Shields, they... I don't know that they were actually particularly bad against Hovercrafts. But we'll see how it works out. Opening Bandits with some Convicts afterwards. Well, of course, Lowry, like I said, we did see the Daggers coming out. And a few quills as well, though Clone not building any further convicts so far. The bandits defending pretty decently against these daggers. None of the daggers going down. Nice micro from Lowry there, although unfortunately the two vulnerable daggers are at the front, so it's not necessarily micro. It might just be luck at this point. We'll see if another battle is joined, but Lowry really needs to get these first two daggers out of there and get them repaired. While at the same time, Clone coming in here with the bandit over the east side of the map, going to figure out what Lowry is up to, where they are, where they have set up, because right now, Lowry is in the northeast corner, as I've mentioned before on Red Comet. The northeast corner is kind of a risky place to be. And it really is. The thing with the northeast corner, the issue with the northeast corner, as it were, is that it really isn't that safe. I mean, you can set up here and it's, it's safe within there, but you can't easily expand down to the east, sorry, down to the south part of that base in the center. Certainly not the very south, but even the center is a bit harder to expand to, whereas starting in the center, you kind of have those metal extractors already in your control, and in this area that's over in the corner, well, it's fairly easy to get to. This corner area, not so much because this hill it makes it difficult to actually set up defenses. You have to set them up here, and getting reinforcements for cars going around the hill, so it's, well, the crater, rather. It was harder to do, but this section here, yeah, I can basically just take it. Well, at the same time, we do see Lowry going around with... How many daggers does Lowry have? Lowry has half a dozen daggers. Most of them over to the very south. A couple to the north to defend against these bandits coming in from Clone. Along with some Lotuses. That is here to help deal with that. And in come the bandits. One of them goes down. No damage dealt yet. Clone just lost that for nothing. Still does know that there are defenses up here. So not quite totally nothing. They got information. That's generally a good thing. And bandits aren't that expensive. They're, they're 75 metal. It wasn't a big loss. Scalpel range is lower too? Oh, really? Are you sure? Nope, Scalpel Range is not low. You were, talk you were talking about daggers. Yeah, okay. So yes, that was all the changes were dagger range was lowered, and mace range and acceleration properties were lowered. Acceleration, deceleration, turn. We don't see any maces yet, though. Oh, no, what am I saying? We don't see any maces until, you know, three seconds from now. There's the first mace. Now, it's a bit hard to see exactly how the movement properties affect the mace at this point. We'll see soon enough how they work out. But anyway, in the meantime, we do have no real combats being joined yet. I mean, Clone over in the south does have their bandits. They're just trying to defend. Stopped Lowry from getting into the south, while Lowry setting up over to the north and hasn't really expanded over to the southeast. While Clone, on the other hand, getting some expansions over to the northwest, but Lowry... And they're kind of slowly getting there, setting up some radar, being very cautious about how they set up the southwest. Sorry, the southeast. Not the southwest. The southwest is clones. But yeah, they're setting up the southeast. They have some units already being put for defense. And they have their commander also, it looks like it's tasked. Is the commander tasked to do all that? No, that's this one quill. They have that just in case they are left alone. But I don't think that'll happen. The bandits coming into the north, getting rid of the defenders, getting rid of the lotuses, dealing quite a lot of damage. The dagger's going to try to come in and deal with this. Oh, we're pushing the commander back, and Lowry's commander able to get rid of most of these bandits. That was a massive suicide attack. 
Got rid of some defenses. I mean, it broke open a small hole in the wall, but ultimately didn't do all that much damage. Really didn't help too much. So at this point, there's two bandits. There's a roach along the way. And of course, there's maces as well, which, as mentioned, they accelerate slower, decelerate slower, just more unwieldy. Not really slower overall. Their speed has not been changed. Just their acceleration, deceleration, and turn rate. Not sure how much that affects the turret turn rate, though. I don't think it does. Most units already have slower turn rate than turret turn rate, so I, seriously, that's going to make that big of a difference. Oh, wow, really? That was... Okay. I didn't realize that louder. Yeah, I guess it is... It doesn't maneuver as quickly. That is... That is the whole point of the change. The maneuvering has been reduced. Because maces were very powerful. They were kind of... The range was very slightly reduced. It's like 355 to 345. It's very, very, very small reduction, but it is there. Anyway, doesn't much matter though once the bandits get in range enough, because that mace is still taking the damage, but it is going to go down, down to the defenders, taking that out. And Lowry continuing to push forward, but Lowry does have the economic advantage, and they have taken the southeast. Pretty convincingly too. They have some defenses set up already. They have the mace set up. They have, defend they have a lotus set up. They are being, I mean, Lowry is being very aggressive when it comes to their expansion. Clone has also taken the Northwest, so it's not particularly uneven. Though so Clone not pushing any extra metal into their factories. Lowry, on the other hand, has a caretaker, getting another caretaker, probably going to get a third caretaker, and already pushing in 20 metal into that factory from workers alone. Clone, on the other hand, not doing so, and also doesn't have the power to really make that, I mean, the energy, I should say, to make that work. Convict's trying to expand more rapidly than they can support in terms of defenses. The dagger is getting rid of one of the convicts. That, however, is going to be stopped short by a roach, or at least discouraged by a roach. Although at that point, ah, that, those daggers could have gone around the back. Unfortunately, they went forward, got themselves killed. Convict also died to the roach, but that could have been a lot of metal extractors that just went down there, or a couple gone down. The lotus would have stopped the rest of them. Oh well, the convict still died. Probably not the most useful thing to do. Anyway. Clone nearly walking into an attack there. Not quite going to work out. Or nearly walking into the defenses. Still, the mace able to get... Well, mace and defenders getting rid of the bandits. No problem. And halberds... Halberds to break through the defenses as a typical thing to do. Because we are getting to the point... We are getting to the consolidation stage. Fairly quickly as well. And Clone setting up that south side. Setting up all these... Solar collectors. Also... I mean, obviously has to deal with the fact that this... North section is a little bit harder to work with. When Clone, I mean, Lowry already has so much of this stuff set up. The South section, not so much, but the North section for Lowry, that's kind of their playground right now. And the commander's up front too, although that, that's actually a risky thing. Their commander is up front there. And the dagger's coming along, getting rid of the metal extractor they could not get rid of before, and... Oh. Okay, Roach on the Halberd, that was not as big as I thought it was. For a second, the commander was killed, but no, it was just a roach on the halberd. Got rid of a couple of metal extractors, though. Lowry keeping the pressure up very strongly. And Clone's commander getting... Clone's commander about to die. Down it goes. Making the disadvantage even worse for Clone. At this point, Lowry has twice the economy. Does not have the energy to really make it work, but does have the caretakers and workers to push as much as they can. Already gone for an air switch. Clone, on the other hand, still has their shield block factory. Has more roaches coming up, so they still have a lot of anti-group forces. But most of the groups right now are in the air. And Shieldbot, they have Vandal. But it's going to take a while for the numbers to be high enough for it to matter. And the mace continuing to push forward. Just a wall of death. Slowly creeping down here, this mace is. Lotus is being set up desperately to try to avoid the mace destroying the entire base. But that is actually probably going to work. The felon in tow, that will finish off that, that mace completely. But still... The entire northwest side have been taken out. Clone rebuilding rapidly, trying to make sure that they don't have any loss of income. Or at least the lowest loss of income they can possibly get. Like I said, they are at a disadvantage. And trying to counter harass, but Lowry already prepared for that with the defenders. And Mace is coming in once again with the south to try to do the same thing as they did to the north. And a Roach already prepared for dealing with this. And a pretty good spot too. Actually, it goes down over too soon. Gets spotted up by the Mace. The Mace kills it doesn't really make a difference. And actually, I wonder if commanders will be able to outrun maces. The maces, the speed hasn't changed. That's the thing. 
Commanders might be able to outrun maces if their commanders kind of go in a circle a bit, but speed hasn't been changed, and at least... No, they won't. Without any servos, commander speed is 1.2, mace speed is 2.1. So no, commanders will not be able to outrun maces. Just for reference. Unless they have the high-powered servos, in which case they would have the speed to do so, and they would have had that anyway. Clone going for their counterattack with Thug... Thug Convict Felon Ball, or at least Thug Felon Ball, with a couple roaches as well. How, where are all these roaches? There's only that one. Okay, there's that one roach I have to pay attention to. And the Thunderbird, the obligatory Thunderbird to get rid of the Felon. And does do exactly that. Well, the Halberd's coming behind it, although unfortunately the Thunderbird does get killed. But the Halberd's behind it can get rid of that one Felon. And they do so successfully. The Thugs, five more seconds before the shields come back. And not a bad roach placement, but the Thugs, sorry, the Halberds, they had already closed up by then. So very little damage was ultimately dealt, but still a felon was lost at the cost of a Thunderbird. That was costly. That was not free, that was not cheap. And Lowry switching over to their ultimate favorite, the Heavy Tank Factory. Not sure exactly where this is. Oh, there it is. And going for Reaper's Wrath of the Bat and Penetrator as well, just for good measure, because why not? I mean, heck, we're dealing with anti we're dealing with heavy and anti-heavy, so a Penetrator to get rid of the felon is a wise choice. At this point, we also have the Halberds just for defense, but it's going to be very difficult for Lowry to keep here. Clone is pushing strongly over to the north side. Lowry still has the economic advantage, but Clone has a very scary army with that Felon. The Felon and Thugs going to get rid of this mace without any problems. The mace is not careful. The mace manages to get away, however. And the Penetrator is... Is it in range? Yes, it is in range, but it does not do much except damage the shields slightly. And mace... Sorry, Penetrators do have a 10, 20 second reload time, not a 10 second, 20 second reload time. However, Lowry does have line of sight on the Felon. So the Felon can be hit directly, slightly out of range of the Penetrator, but it still can be hit directly. And Roach is coming in with Bandits in tow, trying to get rid of these Halberds. Not going to do much, however. And Razor, oh, this is a bad read by Lowry. Pushing, well, 10 metal per second in the Razor. It's not the biggest deal, they do have the metal to make this work. But still, that Razor is not necessary. Not yet, anyway. Maybe it will be. But right now, that is... They're expecting a factor that does not exist. I mean, it's not an expected that they expect that, but it's still not something that actually exists. Gone has not gone for anything but the Shieldbot factor this entire game. Other, I, I mean, Lowry has gone for air. Lowry's gone for heavy tanks. Lowry's just generally built up. But Gone has not. And that Reaper... I've actually tried this myself. Reapers do a pretty decent job with felons. They don't work as well as you'd think, though. And the thing is, because of the... Oh, this is where the Penetrator is actually going to be able to do its thing. And gets rid of one of the Felons. Manages that one. That was good. But anyway, Reapers, they still take a lot of damage before the Felons are completely drained. They do tank it pretty well, but those Reapers... It's not the catch-all. It's not the savior. You are still going to lose a Reaper or two if you're not careful with them. And now we do see the air switch, so their razor was not totally unjustified. It just was a little bit premature. Not the ideal timing, but hey, it should be fine nonetheless. Lowry, so far ahead. I need to... That's how far ahead Lowry is. I need to actually reduce the font size so I can see how much army they have. 11,000 metal compared to Clone's 4.9 thousand. Clone, however, still does have a lot on the ground. A lot of that army value is in the air. No real anti-air yet, but these roaches... Well, once again, roaches are, of course, an anti-group force as they just demonstrated right here in the south. And how many roaches are there? There are just the one, but there's always just the one. Lowry puts it in just the right spot, too. Sorry, Clone puts it in just the right spot. Lowry is not the one playing with roaches. What am I saying? Or puts them in just the wrong spot, and they get killed by defenders. That happens, too. A lot. Roaches are kind of tricky to deal with. They're <laughs> especially... Especially aggressively. I'm kind of surprised that Clone has not built a sneaky Pete, turned it into an eraser, like, using the morph, and then used that to cart roaches around cloaked. I am genuinely surprised that Clone has not done that. I mean, it's not something that most people do, but it's still something that in this situation will work very well. And now Clone having gone for the Swifts, trying to get rid of the Thunderbirds. The Thunderbirds will be able to disable all of this army before that happens. However, will the army get rid of this? Oh, the, well, the Felons, two of the Felons do go down, and a lot of the Thugs as well. However, as do many of the Maces, and the Reapers stay up though. The Reapers are not disarmed. The Penetrator, however, is disarmed the next five seconds, so that doesn't really help too much, and the Felons simply retreat. Not enough damage was dealt because so many of the Maces were themselves disarmed. 
but that still simplified the army somewhat. And Lowry remains ahead, though Clone assaulting from the north, not much of defend here. Single Stinger, that will not do it against Raiders. That really doesn't work very well, and that's... That's a dead Stinger right there. These bandits should be able to get rid of it before... I mean, there's some repairs going on, but no, it's not going to matter. The Stinger still goes down, and this entire north side is very vulnerable. Well, Lowry pushing their entire force to the north, and I mean entire force. They have some defenses over to the south, some static defenses, but everything they'd have built... It's going to the north, and these Reapers, I think, do not need all this up here. A couple maces would have been enough. The Reaper should have stayed in the center, because now Clone knows this, and is going to the south, making it that much harder for Lowry to defend against this. I mean, Lowry has static defenses, but they do not have their units. They do not have their army. Thunderbird coming in here to try to slow things down somewhat, but not really dealing any damage, because that's not what Thunderbirds do. Going down itself, and... Not sure if Lowry realizes that they shouldn't have gone to the north with their entire army, or just that... They shouldn't have thrown their Thunderbird away like that. Not sure what the oops was about. But their army is really in a difficult spot right now. It looks like it's just going to counter-harass. Lowry appears to not be bothering with defense anymore, just going for a counter-harassment. Going to the north themselves, while Clone goes to the south, trying to destroy the analogous bases. I mean, this is actually a really good time for a Thunderbird, by the way. It's going to be rather difficult for it to be shot down, but... Okay, not that difficult. There are enough Swifts for that to be... Yeah, there's way too many Swifts for Clone. Clone has air control right now. Long and short of it is, Clone has air control. But Lowry taking advantage, going behind while Clone is not defending. Clone having overextended their army slightly. Lowry not taking advantage of that. Attacking the main base. Might be able to get rid of the... Will it get rid of the air factory? I think it... Yep, it definitely will. These... This entire area is down. I think there was a Goliath too, because why not? But yeah, the air factory goes down. The shield factory soon to go down is oh, is it not going to is not going to go down? These felons are a bit too much of a threat, and no thunderbirds can really get in here. This is this is a total no fly zone. Swifts have enforced that, but at least the air factory is gone. If nothing else, Lowry made that raid work and didn't lose many units in the process. Lost like one. Oh, they lost a reaper. Okay, that's actually a pretty big deal. They did lose a reaper. But still, that was a nice raid. However, that was also with the same raid over the south. I mean, Lowry has, thanks to Overdrive, a massive economy. I mean, their metal extractors are basically... They're getting plus 5 each. This is a this is a plus 2 map, by the way. This is plus 2.28 in every metal extractor. And they're getting 6. Or nearly plus 6. They are doing fine here. And Clone finally meeting up with Lowry's forces. Lowry hiding behind their stingers. But ultimately... Nothing really to help out against the shield ball. And that Goliath, where's that Goliath? The Goliath's over here, not doing much so far. The Penetrator, this is what they really needed. One Penetrator per Felon should be able to take them out. Well, okay, the first two just deal with the front lines a bit. Tachyon Protectors everywhere between the Stingers and the Penetrators. You just have giant glowing purple beams. Well, purpley white beams. Everywhere. Forcing Clone to retreat. At the same time, Lowry, 17,000 metal in army while Clone has 10,000. Clone is holding surprisingly well for being at the disadvantage they're at. What's their Okay, Lowry at 100 metal. Plus 100 metal, plus 387 energy. While Clone is at plus 56, and Lowry is not accessing. I mean, they have... How many caretakers do they have? They have 8 caretakers so far, getting a ninth because why not? Or sorry, that is 8. Getting a Singu... Okay, that's, that explains the plus... Massive plus energy and the massive overdrive as well. Didn't even notice the singularity reactor before. You don't see that in 1v1 games ever. That is, I think, maybe the second singularity reactor I've ever seen in a 1v1 game. Maybe. I'm kind of surprised this isn't going. Bust your tanks. You have two of these things. Why are they not busting tanks? Well, regardless, south side we do see Clone coming in with a very powerful attack force. I mean, the thing with Lowry, they have the economic and military advantage, but their positioning is not great. Like, consistently this entire game, they have not been making the right reads on where to position things. I mean, that one raid was really well done, but it didn't attack enough to really make it... Like, it attacked the air factor, which helped, but ultimately didn't deal all the damage it needed to. While Clone, on the other hand, just hitting all the weak spots, and Lowry just leaving weak spots open. Especially when they moved, they, they really should have moved only two maces up here. That was, that was one mis one such mistake. But I think Lowry probably has their entire army 
they're either using command A or they're just or command Z on some some forces. Or they have pretty much all their forces keyed to one group, and that's it. And that's not a really good thing to do. Not if you want to keep your forces from getting separated, or rather getting not separated. Separated isn't the problem. The problem is that they aren't getting separated because they are just dealing with everything directly. And now the penetrator kind of wasting its shot there. All but one of them wasting their shots on the Swifts coming in. And the Ravens haven't even come in either. There are Ravens have been built. Clone no actually sending those in now. But those will probably not survive very long. Nope, not at all. Razors take out those. No big deals there. And the Tremors are most just used to take out that south defensive line. Not a terrible idea, but at the same time, that was Lowry's territory. Lowry basically staying ahead thanks to the Singularity Reactor. But this Tremor, it should be attacking the Shield Ball. That's the problem. This is where it should be attacking. There's so much damage to the Shields that could be dealt with this Tremor and is not being dealt. And the Tremor's about to die as a result of that. Now, the Thunderbird trying to make up for this. Yeah, the Thunderbird not quite able to make up for it. That, that Tremor is still doomed to die. There's still very little that can be done to help with that. Although it looks like... No, actually, he is able to retreat. And that Tremor... Okay, now it's hitting where the Shield Ball is, but that's by coincidence. And also, it's hitting a bunch of Solar Collectors. There's nothing there. Really, getting that Shield Ball was the biggest priority. And now it looks like the Tremor Shots are finally hitting it. Because, like I said, the Shield Ball happens to be moving where the Tremors are. Or that the Tremor Shots are landing. And Lowry now moves in with a strong attack force, also moving to the north with a bunch of daggers. Just why not get rid of all the metal extractors that they can? While the south gets all the heavy tanks. And swifts over to the center because why not? Although I still think that... Nope, it looks like Lowry does have air control now. They have finally wrested air control away from Clone. And that is game. Clone throws in the towel. That was very... That almost like Clone had a way in. But no, Lowry managed to turn that around. I still... Really, that Tremor had no reason to be firing at the south. Not for that long. But whatever. That's game. And that's also going to be it for me tonight. Wait, think you survived? Oh yeah, it did. Oh no, never mind. That, that's If it did survive, it got healed up pretty quickly. Okay, apparently the Singularity Reactor got hit, but yeah. Anyway, that is it for me tonight. So thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone. And look forward to this map looking a bit, at least, shinier, if nothing else. So good night.